Hello, in this video we will be learning about definitions and commenting. If you haven't already, make sure to watch lesson 1 as we will be building upon those concepts. To begin, let's learn how to make definitions. Here on the screen is a code on how to make a single heart. You should have seen this in lesson 1. If you need a review, feel free to watch that video again. A definition is basically a group of code condensed into a single title. This is done for simplicity and to make it easier to recreate the code. To explain this, let's try making a six of hearts playing card. As you can see, there are six hearts here, and over here we have the code for a single heart. So you might be thinking, you can just copy and paste this entire block of code and paste it six times to create your card. But the problem with that is not only will this make your program really long and unnecessary and hard to read over, you're going to have to apply transformations to um, a single triangle so many times and in all these different places. And that's really annoying. So that's why we have something called definitions. So to make a definition, there are a few rules you have to follow. First off, it has to be at the very left hand sa side touching this margin. And second of all, it has to start with a lowercase letter. So to name my definition, you kind of want it to be something that describes what your code's doing. So what is this block of code doing? It's making a heart. So it'd be reasonable to call my definition heart. And let's say I try to start this off with an uppercase letter. This won't be valid. This is not a correct definition name. But something like a capital letter after the first letter would be OK. Now, a good indicator that your definition name is valid is if the font here is green. It should be just like the green font here in my shapes. Notice how when I started the definition name with an uppercase letter, it turned blue. This indicates that this is not a proper definition name. So yeah, just make sure it's always green. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the equal sign and I'm going to type in group because we're grouping a bunch of code into a single title, heart. So I'm just going to copy and paste this code for the triangle over here and make sure to always have closing brackets for your definition. So over here, what do you think will happen when I press compile? Strange, nothing happens. So why is this the case? So over here, we're only telling the computer the steps on how to make the heart, but we're not actually telling it to make the heart itself. So to do that, what we have to do is we have to type in heart here in my shapes. Now we're telling the computer, okay, given the steps on how to make a heart, actually make the heart. So when I press compile, the heart now shows up on the screen. Great. Now let's go back to trying to make our card. So over here we have a rectangle outline. So let's go to shape creator and create that outline. So I'm going to use my down arrow keys to navigate to rounded rectangle. This is just a rectangle with rounded edges. And I'm going to play around with the dimensions. So let's say 90 for the width, um, 100 for the length, and that looks pretty good to me. Now, I don't want this to be filled. I want this to be outlined so I can get something similar like this. So I'm going to go down to outlined, and I'm going to make my outline black. Okay, great. This looks good to me, so I'm just going to Control A and Control C and paste my code in here. Now, remember from the last video that if we have two shapes together, we have to separate them from a comma in order for both of them to show. So now when I press compile, I have my outline and my heart. So I don't just want one heart, right? I want six hearts. So I can call this uh, definition six times rather than pasting this entire block of code six times. I just have to call the title of the definition six times. So remember to separate them with a comma and we're just gonna call the title six times. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I did an extra one. Now when I press compile, you'll see it still looks the same because all these hearts have the same attributes, so they're all just overlapping with each other. So we're going to have to add some transformations. And you can just play around with this until you find something that you like. Okay, so after playing around with the transformations, I just added a single transformation to each of these hearts. So let's see what happens when I press compile. 
Okay, so we have our six hearts over here, but they're way too big. So we can either choose to scale each of these hearts um, and add different scale transformations to each one, but that would be a lot of work. So the neat thing about definitions is I can scale all of these six hearts at once just by typing a single line of code. So what I can do is over here in my heart definition, outside of the closing bracket, I'm going to use my piping tool and I'm going to scale it four times smaller. So that would be a factor of 0 0.25. Then when I press compile, you'll see that they're all shaped, they're all sized down to fit within the rectangle. The last thing we need to worry about is over here in the playing card, you'll notice that the last two hearts are flipped. So a simple way you can do this is just setting the scale to be negative one. I'll just copy that and paste that here. And now when we press compile, it looks just like the six of hearts playing card. Now all we need to do is add some commenting to our code. So what is commenting? Commenting is basically a way to describe your code without having anything affect um, anything affect your code. So over here, if you just gave this uh, entire program to someone, they'd be very confused as to what's happening. So what we like to do is we like to describe our code using comments. So there's two types of comments, multi-line commenting and single-line commenting. So let's go over multi-line commenting first. Just like the name suggests, multi-line commenting allows you to make comments on multiple lines. So to do that, you're going to create a, a curly bracket followed by a dash. And we want to have a closing bracket too. Because if you notice right now, everything here is highlighted in orange. And this is telling us that this whole thing is going to become a comment. And we don't want that or else nothing's going to run. So we have to have a closing bracket. So to do that, you press dash and curly bracket. And then you're going to type your comment here in um, these brackets. So your comment can be literally anything you want. Uh, we just want it to... So what I'm going to make my comment is I'm just going to use it to describe this entire block of code here. So what are we doing? We're creating a six of hearts playing card. So I'll just type here. Notice this comment spans multiple lines. It spans two lines, and I can make it as many as I want. But yeah, let's. So that's what a multi-line comment is. It just basically is a comment that can span multiple lines of code. So now let's get into single-line commenting. Single-line commenting is more for short descriptions, and they only work for um, a single line. So if I try to add a single uh, comment here, and to do that, you, all you do is two dashes instead of the curly bracket, and you type your comment. And if I wanted to extend the comment to the next line, you'll notice it's, this is no longer in orange. So if I uh, press compile, this is going to break my code. So we don't want that. So we'll just get rid of that, this, and just know that a single line comment only works for a single line of comment. So this will only work, so you can only make a comment on line 6 in this specific case. So this is used for more short descriptions. So I'm going to use single line comments to describe what each of these hearts are. Because um, if you just gave this to someone, they have no idea what this heart actually is. So I'm going to use it to describe each of the hearts. So this heart over here represents the middle right heart. And this represents the middle left. And I'll just continue commenting for each of the six hearts. And make sure that when you're making a comment that it's in orange, that's how you know you're doing it correctly. Okay, great. Now we added comments to our code, and that's basically it for this lesson. So if you want to get some more practice on definitions and commenting, what you can do is 
try to create an image of something you like, for example, a flower, and use definitions to make repetitions of that. So for example, if you make a flower, you can use definitions to make a field of flowers. Or if you make a car, you can make a definition so that you can, you can have multiple cars in your um, screen over here. And be sure to practice commenting, try to use multi-line commenting and single-line commenting to uh, continue to practice. Have fun!